What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Up Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally when it comes to Mac OS 12 Monterey, I have some great news as we now have the next developer beta and as you can see here it's developer beta 9 now i'm updating using the developer beta profile so if you are a public beta tester and you're waiting for the full installer or the ipsw file those could be available as soon as tomorrow now you can see on my 2016 15 inch mbp that this update comes in at exactly 2.05 gigs i'm updating from mac os 12 beta 8 and so if you're updating from a different device or version you might see a different update size now someone over on twitter actually mentioned something that's a little bit funny and makes sense that mac os 12 doesn't actually want to come out it's almost as if it's like gta 6 and you know that makes sense if you're a gamer but obviously this is not all that apple released today when it came to like software updates you can see here if we go into the downloads you can see that apple released mac os monterey beta 9 they also released ios as well as ipad os 15.1 beta 3 and also watch os 8.1 beta 3 and tvOS 15.1 beta 3. Now, most of these updates I'm going to be covering here on the channel. So I do cover a lot of Apple software updates, Mac OS, Mac tips and tricks and so on. So if that's something that tickles your pickle, then a sub to the channel would really be appreciated. Now, let's go into the about this Mac so to see some of the software changes that came with this update. So as you can see here, we have a new build number when it comes to Mac OS Monterey beta 9 and the build number that came with this update is 21A5543. b So it's important to note that the letter at the end has changed for the better. And in terms of stability coming from Mac OS 12 beta 8, we took two steps in the positive direction. As with beta 8, we had a build number that ended with a D. So from a D to a B, that's two steps in the good, which is something that's positive. Now, if we go to manage storage and go to uh, see macOS storage, it just takes a moment to load. We want to see whether it's taking like abnormal amount of storage. As you can see here, it's calculating and boom, there is the macOS storage, 16.65 gigs. That is so normal and within range. So nothing abnormal there. Now, when it comes to some of the new features and changes that came with this update there's something that i want to show you if you go into the system preferences and search for universal control you notice that unlike beta 8 that had nothing mentioned in the code when it came to universal control here you can see that universal control is actually mentioned in the code of mac os 12 beta 9 so if you click on it like this it will just open up your display system preferences so this is how my display system preferences for now looks because i have a secondary monitor but if you actually don't have a secondary monitor you also notice another change that came with mac os uh, 12 beta 9 and that is the wallpaper that you see when you go to your display so before we used to have a wallpaper or a mac that portrayed a mac os pixel wallpaper but the one that we now have on mac os 12 beta 9 has been updated to display a mac os 12 monterey wallpaper which shows that you know we usually see something that like this when we are close to the final release which is something that's great so universal control is not here but it's mentioned in the code and you can see also some uh display settings that have been touched up a little bit nothing major just aesthetics also while we still have safari opened if i click on my safari here and go to the about safari section you can see here that the version is the same so the version is 15.1 but the build has been updated so the build number that we have with this mac os 12 beta 9 is 9 17612.2.9.1.1 so we have like a 911 or 911 at the end and previously with mac os 12 beta 8 we actually had 17612.2.6.1.1 so the dot at the end or the three units at the end have been uh, updated so we went from a dot six dot one dot one to a dot nine dot one dot one so hopefully this means that if you're having issues when it came to like tabs or extensions that were not working or even automations that were collapsing from time to time this 
update could resolve those issues that is something that's good also i want to show you something here if you go into your system preferences because a number of people have actually uh, updated me with regards to this so on beta 7 and beta 8 a number of people were not able to update whether they were using a developer beta or a public beta so finally with mac os 12 beta 9 a number of people i have about four people that mentioned that they were able to update so it seems like mac os 12 beta 9 fixes that issue where people could not update and that is something that's great also among the many many issues that i was experiencing that were killing me on mac os 12 beta 7 and beta 8 my secondary display or external monitor was not showing up so i would connect it make sure everything is firm and connected i would also like try and change to a different USB C port thinking that maybe my mac port has an issue and i also tried like two different monitors the one that you're seeing in this video is a benq gaming monitor nvidia 3d vision ready monitor but on mac os uh, 12 beta 7 and beta 8 it was not working and also my actual monitor that i use mainly this is just a backup for technical support so the one that i use mainly is an hp monitor but it wouldn't actually display as you can see on the screen on both monitors i was getting like white showers and it would show that something is connected but even on the mac when you try to hover the mouse over onto the secondary monitor this was not possible so that is that's what i was experiencing on mac os 12 beta 7 and 8 but on mac os 12 beta 9 this issue has been resolved and if you have an lg 4k monitor display that you use as your external monitor do let me know in the comment section below whether this update resolves some of those issues for you now least but not last i would be happy to let you know that when it comes to facetime on beta 7 and beta 8 sometimes when i would open up my facetime initially for the first time it would like crash and sometimes i would get a black screen or black camera it's as if my mac camera wouldn't be recognized but finally with mac os 12 beta 9 this issue has been resolved now those are some of the new features as well as changes and fixes that i've managed to notice during the few four or five hours that i have been on this beta there's going to be more testing to come when it comes to like performance and you know like daily usage and how this mac is going to uh keep up so i'll do a follow-up video where i'll do geekbench and you know just a follow-up video of how my apps and you know how it works because this is on my daily mac that i use every day now let's talk about some of the issues that i experienced so far the first issue that i experienced was on the system preferences when i believe i was on display and i tried to actually click on display setting and my mouse teleported like what i uh, portrayed in my mac os 12 beta 8 follow-up videos that is something that has been happening to me since beta 7 where i click here my mouse could pop up there i click there my mouse could pop up anywhere on the screen so invalid or unregistered mouse clicks that is something that i have been experiencing and also when it comes to uh focus the release notes of this update mentions that there's still issues when it comes to focus there's issues when it comes to iCloud and also language and region when you go into your system preferences so in terms of when we could see this update being released so we actually didn't get invites for the Apple event this week Tuesday so as you can see today is the 6th and if we do get invites on October 12 as you are seeing here then I would expect like a beta 10 uh the, around this week either on the 12th or the 13th and then if the invites do come out then on the week of the 19th we'll actually have the apple m1x event or m2 event depending on what apple will call it and during this week we'll get the release candidate of mac os 12 if it does happen according to this then the official version will be somewhere you know on the 25th or somewhere during this week i would look you know towards the first two days of this week now that's about it for me guys when it comes to mac os 12 beta 9 let me know whether you're going to be updating or what you want me to test out and other than that that's about it for me stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video peace